All right, in business, stakeholders in the telecommunication ecosystem are co congregating in Nairobi for the annual International Telecommunication Week that's set to take place until the 14th of September to deliberate on how best to bridge the digital gap in the continent. The conference, which is being held for the first time in Africa, seeks to find solutions to the existing digital infrastructure gap and ensure that last mile connection is done and investments required are made. Jimmy Bogo was there and filed this report. ITW conference, which brings together industry leaders, decision makers and experts in the digital infrastructure community, has come to Nairobi to explore the vast potential of Africa's digital infrastructure and connectivity landscape. Companies such as Liquid Telecom are already committing to expand their footprint in the region with an additional investment towards two new terrestrial routes from Kenya to Ethiopia and another one from Zambia to Malawi. According to the company CEO Adil El Yosefu, uh, the investment will enable greater efficiency in the region connectivity and spur economic development of the countries. It's a substantial investment, um, um, a couple of hundred million shillings. Uh, but you know, we, um, as you know, we operate already the largest um, fiber network across the, uh, the country, but also across. Uh, the continent at over 110,000 kilometers of fiber. So we are um, uh, we are conversant of the fact that these investments are required to bring in benefits uh, for our customers and our stakeholders. At the same time, investors in the telco ecosystem have been urged not to prioritize commercial interests alone, but to invest in regions with growth potential. Meanwhile, the government was on the receiving end with stakeholders cautioning the state against punitive taxation uh, that hinders growth in the sector, saying it will be detrimental to the gains and investments made in the sector. Whatever taxation framework they come with, let them not be prohibitive in terms of customers then seeing it as a, as a barrier to entry so that you know the cost then becomes too much than the common Mwananchi can actually afford so that they can consume these services. In as much as they also want the tax, but let it not be at all costs and all costs really means then stopping others who can then not be able to afford, in which case then just expanding that digital divide, which, is, which I'm sure is not the government's agenda. So we do need to make sure that whether it be fiber infrastructure or mobile um, data infrastructure, that we have it laid across the country over the next five to ten years, and that we have also affordable smart devices accessible to all Kenyans. Once we've done that, um, then I think that gap uh, will be closed. Uh, the government on its part has committed to embracing new ideas and recommendations from the ITW as it seeks to improve its policy framework and come up with regulation that spur growth in the sector, even as it champions for the digital superhighway to unlock employment opportunity through the digital economy. The government will do all that is possible to facilitate the private, private sector to move forward. It is not the business of government to do business, it is the business of government to facilitate business. Jimmy Bogo, KTN News.